Hey guys, how's it going? Capran here. So today I want to show you guys a few cool games I had with Stand Against the Darkness. Now, this card is obviously not so great, but it does have some interesting plays in Arena where, um, you know, a lot of times your opponent just doesn't have a way to deal with that many guys. I mean, the reason why Paladin versus Priest is such a one-sided matchup is because Paladin can play a bunch of 1-1s and it, you know, grants a cumulative advantage hero power if the Priest is never really winning. So it puts a situation where your Priest is never really going to be able to come back in the game if it ever starts losing. And trust me, Priest doesn't lose. So, a little bit off topic, but you know, just having a lot of guys on the board makes it so through buffs, through some kind of board control, if you need a few extra points of damage, having a high number of minions often, and in general, most of the time, really, is what you want to do. So it, it kind of makes the card somewhat advantageous in a lot of positions, and what I really like about it is it just creates a different style of play all of a sudden. So all of a sudden, you know, your opponent has a bunch of you know, one health minions, you can't really do too much being Paladin, bam, stand against the darkness, one ones everywhere, so cool. Now, it's obviously a bad card uh, compared to some of the other cards out there, like the new, you know, Forbidden Ritual from Warlocks, it's, it's literally the same card, except you can play it whenever you want for any number of guys that you want. The, s the slight advantage with Standing Against the Darkness is that the 1-1 one -one recruits have some synergy through other cards, like, you know, if you're playing Arena, you can Quartermaster your Stand Against the Darkness, but, you know, that's that's just generally not going to happen. Uh, it would be nice, though, if it happens a couple times, of course. Um, so it has a few interesting synergies, but most of all, it's just, uh, it's just really powerful that it's a Paladin tool, it's a common card, and uh, it's just kind of changes the gameplay in a very big way. So I want to highlight those moments for you guys so you can see how a card that is generally underwhelming can have some amazing games, and in some cases, some amazing failures, really, because, you know, starting with a bunch of 1-1s one is setting yourself up to get cleared by a one, one damage board clear, and sometimes it can be amazing trying to recover from those situations. So, I hope you guys check out the clips, hope you guys, you know, get a little bit of a better understanding for the card, but more than that, a bit of a better understanding of what it means to swarm the board with one health minions in Arena, and the advantages and the risks that is involved in such a card and procedure. So check it out, hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello. I'll just try to overwhelm them. I like this play better than Profit because next turn I can play Profit and Ooze. I kind of wanted to play the 1-1s, one but there's not enough space on the board for them. Yes! Did it, boys. Um, okay. Yes. It's 513 Ysera. I will take that card. Thank you. Yes, this is Arena. Zooing down this poor mage here. Okay. Can I help you, sir? 
Nice. Sometimes I forget things. That's nice of him. Gives me some room on the board for my 513, you sir. Interesting. He doesn't know if he wants to play a two drop. Are you serious? What the fuck? Um, okay. Let me tell you guys how Priest works. Can you play something on turn two? You can? Play it. Done deal. Doing it wrong all these years. Yeah. Okay, that works. Funny thing is, if he has a Holy Nova, I can't play Stand Against the Darkness because it'll revive the Wild Pyro. That's it's a minor setback, <laughs> but uh, I think it's all right. How many fingers do you see? Get in there and fight, maggot! Hmm. Me smash! Mm, yeah. Okay. This is my responsibility. Ah. Reporting for two. Please don't hold it over me. What? <laughs> do you like to Oh! Fight? No! Oh, it's gonna kill it twice! Oh, the plays! Oh, God! Oh, the plays! Oh, no! That's such a good card! Oh. The carnage. That was probably the most ridiculous convert play I've ever seen in my entire life. That was one of the most ridiculous plays I've ever seen at Hearthstone, by the way. Let's just call it as we see it there. That was... that could not be a good play. Chance that this is a good play is 0%. 0% good play there. Okay. Well, actually, we might be doing okay, just because that turn his play was so horrible. Oh my god. He has a Kraken. Holy shit, dude. That's a crap draw. This is not good, guys. This is not good. Please, no more ridiculous cards. What?! Okay. Dude, we have to go. Like, it is time. Oh, damn, that changes things. The battle. The battle. For Blackwing. Sometimes. Okay. He actually picked that. That's not likely to kill much. Damn it. Well, he's forced to trade at least. Okay, I just need a decent card here. Just not something stupid like Argent Protector. Okay, that's probably fine. Okay, that was actually really lucky. As uh, it killed the Prophet on the last missile. 
if it didn't do that, he's he's actually gonna lose. Oh, that's, that's pretty lucky. All right, all right, fine, fine. Just, just nothing bad happened to my three six taunt minion, please. Okay, we're gonna win this absolutely ridiculous game. Hey, that actually sucks ass. So, okay, that does not suck ass. Oh fuck. Nah, dude, I gotta go. Where am I? Okay, face is the only way that we win this. We are so behind, and that draw sucked. Please no Holy Nova. Just don't Holy Nova me. Yeah, just send that right in. There you go. Okay, now don't play a taunt. No taunt. No taunts allowed. Don't even think about it. I'll put it on your oh my god, that's incredible! That was his best play? Oh, Holy shit, we won the game? Don't flash heal yourself. Okay. Okay, we won that game. That was all skill, guys. All skill. We have no ones and twos, so we're going to get rid of every card to get ones and twos. And we got one three. Mm, it's not a good three to play on curve, though. Alright. Okay, let's try to get value here from the Avenge. If we play a guy, there's no telling how how low we sink here. Just hope he doesn't have it. Oh. Okay, it's fine. Okay, let's hope he doesn't have an ooze. I'm okay with True Silver. Uh, Kings is pretty bad. That's fine. Hey, I can see my house from here. <laughs> Last warning. <laughs> Kings is bad here. Most of the others are fine. Yeah, anyway, it looks like he didn't have any of the soul crushing answers, and we played as aggressively as possible. So I guess we're in good shape. Fine, I guess. This is where we usually run up against the minion. That's a little bit bigger than we want. Never mind. Reporting for duty. Wow. Last warning for justice. For duty. Yeah, consecration's good, but it's not great. The battle. Reporting for duty. Two arms, men. The battle. The battle. The battle. The battle. Oh baby, so many arms. <laughs> Reporting for duty. What's he got? Oh, well, sorry. The victory is yours. Seem pretty lucky to you. That was pretty lucky.